is the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday, the 31st of March, 2021. It was on this day, 1930, the Motion Picture Production Code was put into effect. It was known as the Hayes Code, after the Hollywood censor Will Hayes. Guidelines for the depiction of sex, violence, crime, and religion in American movies. A list of 36 don'ts and be carefuls. It was made obligatory in 1934, and from then until 1968, films had to pass the production code in order to be released. The Supreme Court had ruled in 1915 that the First Amendment to right to free speech did not extend to movies, so the film industry was nervous about government regulation, and they adopted the Hayes Code, which said that crime must be punished. Criminals should not be presented as sympathetic characters. Pre- or extramarital sex must never be portrayed in a positive light. Authority figures must be portrayed with respect. The church and the clergy must not be laughable or villainous. And showing drug use and interracial romance were outlawed. The Hayes Code was the reason Ingrid Bergman got on the plane in Casablanca instead of living in sin with Humphrey Bogart. But in the 50s, a number of movies defied the Hayes Code, such as Billy Wilder's Some Like It Hot, and the production code gradually faded away. It's the birthday of the poet and novelist Marge Piercy, born Detroit, 1936. Her grandfather, a union organizer who was murdered while organizing bakery workers. She grew up working class, Jewish, in an era when anti-Semitism was a constant part of life, witnessed the Detroit race riots. She said, I knew so many kinds of people, from a Wyandotte Native American to kids from the projects to kids up from Appalachia to strivers and strainers and gamblers and non Numbers Runners, Detroit, formed me. Author of novels, Braided Lives, He, She, and It, and Made in Detroit. 1943, on this date, Oklahoma by Rodgers and Hammerstein opened on Broadway. It was a smash hit. The first big Broadway blockbuster ran for over 2,200 performances. The philosopher René Descartes, born in France, 1596, on this day, who considered himself a mathematician and a scientist. His famous book was Discourse on Method, about the necessity of doubt in scientific inquiry. The poet Andrew Marvel, born Winestead, England, 1621, on this day. He was a politician as well as a poet, and so most of his poems had to be kept secret, only published after his death. Here's a poem for today by Sally Fisher, entitled Here in the Psalm. I am a sheep, and I like it, because the grass I lie down in feels good and the still waters are restful, and right there if I'm thirsty. And though some valleys are very chilly, there is a long rod that prods me, so I direct my hooves the right way, though today I'm trying hard to sit at a table because it's expected, required, really, and my enemies, it turns out I have enemies, are watching me eat and spill my drink, but I don't worry because all my enemies do is watch, and I know I'm safe if I will just do my best as I sit on this chair that wobbles a bit in the grass on the side of a hill. A poem by Sally Fisher here in the psalm from her collection, Good Question, published by Bright Hill Press and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.